Hello, my name is Ahmed Al Khatib. I am a PhD student at the University of Glasgow, and I am interested in the link between places and population health. In this presentation, I will be talking about clean space and chronic illness in the twin cities of Ramallah and Al Bira in the occupied Palestinian territory. It is from a study that was recently published with my supervisors, Jonathan Olsen and Richard Mitchell. So if you are interested to know more, please check it out. It is freely available. First, I will talk about why looking at the link between health and clean space is important in the context of the study. Then I will briefly talk about the analysis and the findings of the study and what does these findings mean and what shall we do about them? So, why this study? Many studies have found that green space in the urban environment is beneficial to mental and physical health. However, most of the studies are limited to cities in developed countries. Less is known in the context of a Middle Eastern developing country with unique cultural, climatic, and political environments. Our study was important because the relationship between green space and health is likely to be affected by the sociocultural context, as it plays a vital role in how people perceive green space, interact in it, and embody its effects. In our study, we investigated the urban environment of the Twin Cities of Ramallah and al Bira and occupied Palestinian territory. We linked data about individuals with the characteristics of their areas, and we looked at the risk of chronic illness in relation to five environmental features, two political features and three green space uh, variables. The green space variables were the proportion of mixed trees, crop trees, and open space with no trees in the areas of residence. We found that regardless of the personal characteristics, green space was associated with lower risk of chronic illness, but not all types of green space. Only the proportion of mixed trees in the areas of residence was associated with chronic illness. Thus, with more mixed trees in the areas of residence, there's less chronic illness. This finding highlights the universality of trees as beneficial to human health, as it was found beneficial in Western settings. Another interesting finding in this study is that we found that living in the context of a refugee camp is associated with a higher risk of chronic illness. However, this association was explained by the proportion of mixed trees in the residential area, which could imply that trees in refugee camps have an essential role in benefiting the health of individuals living in such a disadvantaged context. These findings demonstrate that trees are essential component of healthy living in the context of the urban setting in the Middle East and should be part of public health strategies in the region. Furthermore, the lack of natural elements and spaces in disadvantaged contexts, such as refugee camps, which suffers from many other environmental problems, should be considered in the future interventions that seeks to improve the health and the quality of life of these vulnerable populations. Thank you.